Hey guys, it's Leah and this is my daughter Scarlett. Do you say hi Scarlett? Hi mama. Hi baby. Um, and today we're showing one of our favorite dishes and that's a Mexican um, two, three layer dip. I actually made it a little bit more healthier. I tweaked the recipe because, well, I crave this stuff. I can demolish the other recipe and I figured out ways how to put the brakes on overeating this without um, compromising the taste. And one of the things I did, um, traditionally this recipe, what? Chips, I know, she's pointing to the chips. We'll get to the chips. Traditionally this recipe calls for sour cream, cream cheese and mayonnaise. And what I did instead is I got, sour, I got cream cheese. I just, so regular cream cheese is fine. I'm gonna show you the one that I tried. This is a plant-based, coconut-based. It doesn't taste like coconut, I just tried it. Um, cream cheese spades without the dairy. And what I like about this recipe, it actually has no sugar. We will have chips in a second, okay? Okay, <laughs> this is my real life. Okay, and so this has not, no sugar in, the, in it compared to dairy, it traditionally has a bit of sugar. I'm also picked um, skier Icelandic um, yogurt. It's a little bit thicker than Greek yogurt. Also a slightly more protein and less sugar. And I mixed the two together. So what I did is I left this out of the fridge for an hour or two and then I literally threw this whole container and half of this container, um, mushed it together. Okay, then I added, I might put a taco season mix, which I forgot to order. So what I did is I just used um, paprika spice and I mixed it up and I put it in the first layer and I had this in the fridge for about an hour. Okay, the next step to this recipe is um, just regular salsa. Salsa is great. It's traditionally low in sugar. It's going to add the little bit of spice and heat, right? So this has the coolie creamy taste. So Scarlet, Scarlet, are you still with us? I'm taking the salsa and I'm just adding another layer, okay, right on top here. And this ain't no fancy cooking show. We ain't looking for a spot on the food channel. This is real life. This is how I hack it out with uh, three small kids and working and, you know, busy, busy life. Okay, so I put a layer of salsa here and this jar was already um, open. open. Yeah, it was already open. So I put about, open. yeah, it was already open. So I put about, I would say about three, open. I finished it off. So I used the majority of it. So I just put another extra layer on top. Okay. And then, so we have our, we have two layers and then we're going to take cheese. I love President's Choice products basically because I live near Fortino's and Superstore where I live here in Oakville. This Tex-Mex cheese is awesome. It has a little bit of spite. It's a little bit of jalapeno. If you're not a spice person, right, I did a medium salsa and a little bit of kick in the cheese. You just go for mild, whatever works. And so I sprinkle a little bit over. Okay. And then lastly, so we got this. Lastly, oh, it's going to get cut off here. Okay. We take some green onions and I got some fresh green onions from the grocery store. I just cut them up. I might not put them all in. Okay. And then I sprinkle it and we, lo we lost our sous chef, but... This is what it's like doing things with a three and a half year old. Okay, so this is done. Next, all you need is some chips and I'll show you my favorite brand of chips. You can get these at the grocery store. You can get them at Costco. You know, I love these chips. They're crunchy and they actually only have, I think like three or four ingredients. If you look at some of the other um, major brand chips, oh, look who's back. A lot of them have a lot of ingredients and I don't even know what's in them. Okay, so this is great for parties. This is great for Bye. snacking. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Scarlett. And what I love about this recipe is it's that it has the protein in it, so it's high protein. We've got the fat. It's gonna put on the break so you don't overeat this. Actually, so like traditionally, which is sour cream, right? I could eat the whole thing in one sitting. I'm really embarrassed to share that with you, but this is real life. This one, I can just eat a third, feel totally satisfied, and put it away. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will post the recipe below. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.